Good morning, everyone. It's been uh, some time since I produced another uh, video. Um, so today uh, I'm going to take you to a place called Fairy Lake near Port Renfrew. Um, I'm on a holiday in um, Vancouver Island and this is my third day. It's been raining out the uh, last two days so I was not able to go out and uh, take any pictures at all. And um, then uh, today morning when I the weather again uh, there was a uh, cloudy and some mist or fog around so I thought uh, I will use the opportunity to uh, go to this particular uh, fairy lake there is a a little bit tree in the middle of the lake so that is what actually I'm planning to uh, photograph the interesting thing would be if there is still fog around uh, the tree or in that lake uh, the picture actually is going to be uh, amazing I'm hoping um, so it's about uh, 10 12 kilometers drive from where I'm uh, staying I'm on my way let's see how it goes um, yeah finally I have arrived at the location uh, that's the lake actually um, to my right and um, I'm going to get down and uh, set up my tripod and then I'll walk you through. Um, unfortunately, um, there is no mist hanging around. Um, just a little bit faint mist on the other side. I can see it, but uh, not much. So let's see. The tree is um, some distance from the uh, main road. So in order to reach the uh, tree in the middle of the uh, lake so I need a longer lens um, so the wide angle wouldn't uh, do the justice so I'm just going to try um, my 70 to 200 with 1.4 uh, uh, extension hopefully hopefully um, that will be enough to reach the tree for the composition I'm looking for it is just before seven o'clock in the morning the Sun has already uh, risen and uh, oh as we speak, it started uh, drizzling now. Probably, uh, probably need to wait. No mist, but uh, there is a rain. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. Regardless, I will just change the lens, and uh, I will change my shoes as well. Sorry for the noise. Um, I will change my shoes as well in order to go down to one of one side of the uh, lake. This is my uh, homemade rain protection for my camera and the lens. I'll just show you in a second. It works perfectly. There we go. That's my rain cover for my lens and camera. That is the tree actually I'm talking about. A tree in the middle of this fairy lake. This is one of the um, tourist attractions. Some beautiful uh, as you can see, all those mists are uh, lifting up and uh, moving away from there. Uh, I was hoping to see some mist in the lake surrounding the tree, but uh, unfortunately, no. Okay, let's go because the rain has slowed down a bit. While I was uh, waiting for the rain to stop, um, I had a quick look around and um, found two compositions. Um, so the one I'm going to go down to the lake side, um, then probably from there um, composing one scene, and, and then for up from the road. This is the small route I'm planning to walk down to, and if you can see the edge of the water there, and that is where I'm going to stand and. Uh, Take a picture. I'm not sure I've not been down there whether it will be worth doing it. Let me first check it before I take my camera. Okay, let's do the walk. Oops. I'm 
definitely thick growth here. Uh, no, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to see. No, it's completely covered from this end. So I don't think actually I'll be able to take a shot from here. Okay, change of plan, and uh, this time we will go to the other side, my other composition, my other location. Walking around from there to this particular spot, I found another composition and um, this at uh, full 280 millimeters of uh, focal length, um, I can isolate the tree and include some of the background at the other uh, part of the lake. Since the sun has popped out, um, so the lighting set, lighting conditions have changed, and uh, now I am uh, I am at twentieth uh, twenty fifth of a second f eight ISO one hundred. This scene reminds me of my. Um, other video in Cypress Mountain. Um, if you have not watched that video, I'll put the link up here. Check it out. When I was about to leave uh, after taking the bonsai tree, um, there was this lady uh, who, par I mean, who they parked next to me was saying there is a small uh, waterfall here, uh, just about 200, 300 meters from where I parked. Uh, then I thought, okay, why not? You know, when you are in the area. If you get any chance of uh, taking any extra pictures, it's always a welcome thing, isn't it? So I'm here uh, at this particular spot. It's, it's not a huge uh, uh, waterfall per se, but uh, it is just beautiful. So I thought uh, I'll give it a try. Oops. Oh, oh my. Okay. A lot of watch out where I'm stepping. I, s I set up my camera here. Uh, in the portrait orientation the and a little over one second uh, shutter speed gives a smooth milky softness to the water flowing through the uh, rocks here And that's it. That's it for the uh, video today. And I hope actually you enjoyed uh, um, this video as much as I did. If you are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing it. Or uh, if you like the content of this video, um, give a like, and uh, that will be very um, encouraging for me. Also, press the notification button so that now you will not uh, miss another video from me. And um, till we see you again. Thank you. Almost 12 hours later, I'm back at the same place. Um, you can see the setting sun here. And um, I got um, beautiful side light coming onto the um, tree. So I'm going to take some more uh, images here. Here I'm going with the um, square image. My settings are F8. Uh, ISO 100 and I'm deliberately darkening the image uh, to about minus one so that would give me an what is that that would give me a shutter speed of about 30th of a second um, no 40th of a second now so that's the image actually I'm going for let's take the shot Sometimes it is important uh, if you are around in that area come back to the same scene once again at a different uh, time of the day um, at, at times actually you will get uh, some wonderful uh, images and uh, different uh, settings as well 
as uh, you have seen it now. Let me know which one you like um, the best in the images uh, so far you have seen. Uh, please write it in the comment below and uh, that will be nice to know. Cheers once again. Thanks very much for um, watching this channel and uh, come back again with uh, more videos to come from Vancouver Island. See you soon. Bye.